And today I want to talk about how to control this. Because I think the one thing you can do is control your mind and what you think. and Not what thoughts come in, because I don't think we can control the kind of thoughts that come in. But thoughts are coming in. What do we do with them? That's what we can control. So if the thought comes in and then I mull over it and think about it, well, that's my choosing of being allowing that thought to come in and do that. And a lot of people have no control over this part of their body. And so I wanted to talk, and this is why I'm going to call this video Meditation Equals Discipline. Because I think meditation is one of the most powerful things everyone, anyone can do. Now, that's not the case for everyone. And so I want to put a caveat there. Because I think if you've got a lot of trauma, especially if it's if it's un healed trauma i think meditation can be really difficult so a prelim to meditation is mindfulness now mindfulness is when you learn to focus your mind and stay with it and the more you focus the more you are taking control of this and so mindfulness anyone that wants to you know maybe get to ultimately meditation but mindfulness oh You're a bit skew with there. And so mindfulness can be a prelim, but meditation is ultimately, and all meditation is, and it's so interesting when you think, oh, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, you've got to sit this way, you've got to hold this and sit there and hum and hum and all of the rest of it. It's not, it's not any of that. Meditation is just coming into the body and and being aware that thoughts are coming in and all you're going to do is let them go by just like a passing car in front of a window and that's all meditation is meditation is thought coming in and watching it go past thought coming in and watching it go past thought coming in and watching it go past now if you can do that set a timer five minutes see how you go i know i've worked with some people and it is the, the hardest thing they ever learn to do and so if it's really too hard, because a lot of people are so uncomfortable in their body with all that unresolved trauma, all that heavy weight that they're carrying around, that it's almost near impossible to actually do that. I realise I'm... <laughs> I haven't got this set up properly. I do apologise. Thought come in, let it go. Thought come in. That is meditation. Now, ultimately, it's to sit with no thought. But before you get to that point, you've got to learn to let it come in. And that's all it is. And so meditation is literally thought coming in, thought coming in, thought coming in. If you can control this, and this, you've got to do it when you're okay, not when you're really in a lot of pain or some terrible thing has just happened or you're getting flashbacks or any of that. Don't even bother. Do it when you're okay. So, oh, look, there's my mind telling me that person thinks I'm an idiot. Or there's my mind telling me, oh, people are going to judge me. Oh, there's my mind telling me no one's going to love me. Oh, there's my mind telling me. Let it come in. And what you're going to do is, you like it. This is the thoughts coming in, just like cars in front of a window. And all you're going to do is stand back and watch them. Do it when you're okay. Practice for five minutes because meditation equals discipline. Mindfulness teach is discipline equals discipline because what you're doing, you're focusing your mind. You're learning to focus. And I know when I first first started doing mindfulness, it was just so good. You know, you're in the shower and mindfulness is about noticing the water as it hits your head, noticing the soap as you being fully mindful in the moment, being present with the soap, with the water, with the shower, not thinking, what am I going to cook for dinner? Oh, that sounds so, they're blah, 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 whatever you know, negative thing I was thinking, not up in my head thinking about things like that, but actually in the shower, feeling the water, feeling the soap, you know, putting the brush on my body and feeling what it feels like. You can do mindfulness 24 seven. And so this is why a lot of time I will say, because I work with a lot of unwell people that are really struggling, start off with mindfulness. Because I, I tell you, meditation can be tricky and it's hard. And because we're not very good at it to start with, we kind of think, oh, not good at that, I don't want to do it. Um, but keep going. I mean, this is a discipline of keep doing it, keep doing it, consistency, even just for five minutes. And I know I, you know, even when I'm a little bit, 
strung out or whatever, I will go into mindfulness. It's like focus on where I am and what I'm doing. And so right now I'm sitting here in front of the video and I'm noticing the chair beneath me. I notice the light coming in through the window. I notice that there's no breeze actually around my body. I can't feel that breeze on my skin. I can feel that I'm quite comfortable in my body. Um, and I'm excited to be talking to you. And I love doing these videos, even if you think I'm insane or you don't or even if I don't make any sense and they're just some of the comments I've been getting or if you think I, I'm talking crap, it doesn't matter. I still love doing it. I'm not going to stop doing it. I'm going to keep doing it uh, because I love it. I get a lot out of it and I enjoy sharing what I've learned and what I've taught myself and experienced in my own life that has really helped me over and above everything else. And I know for me, mindfulness and meditation does equal discipline. And so don't try and be disciplined. Just do some mindfulness. Just do some meditating and see. Um, for me, this is like an experiential exercise. Don't trust my word. Go and experience it for yourself. See the power of mindfulness and meditation. And I'm telling you, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And it does take time. It's not going to happen overnight. I'm wobbling again. My Obviously, it's not tight enough. Um, to just do it and see what happens see how you feel and just keep doing it because what I love is when you do something over here and it impacts over here because meditation is about giving yourself that gap between thought and action between thought and reaction um, it just allows you to sit in that space and eventually it would be nice and I've been doing it for years um, to get to that no thought, you know, where you're not kind of having thoughts, you're just in the body, with the body, with the breath, with the, uh, you know, in your inner being and just sitting quietly. But I haven't really got to that point. I don't think I ever will. The thoughts will come in and, and sometimes I'll be meditating and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about blah, blah, blah. And it's about that is meditation. It's not about, oh, look, I've been thinking I'm an idiot. I'm not doing this right. It's about, oh, there I am thinking. It's about bringing awareness into what's happening into the biocomputer, which is the mind. Um, oh, here we go again. And that's what a good mind will do. It's not wrong. It's a good mind. A good mind, they reckon, 60 to 90,000 thoughts every day. That's a lot of thoughts. And if, it's funny how we don't buy into all of them, do we? And my brain, I don't know about you, but my brain tells me some weird shit sometimes, you know? And it always says the same thing. When I go to a tall building, my mind says, look, you could just do 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 and jump off and splatter out onto the floor. Now, that's something my mind will tell me. Now, I've learned that my mind tells me a load of crap a lot of the time, so I don't take any notice. And I go, oh, that's an interesting thought. But I don't buy into it. I don't think, oh, well, I've thought it. That must mean I want to do it. No, it's just my mind coming in telling me a bunch of crap half the time. And it does. And it did for many years. It told me no one likes me. No one loves me. I'm this. I'm that. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. I can't learn. I can't do this stuff. And I bought into it for a lot of years until I learned to realize that's just my biocomputer. That's just my mind telling me stuff. Am I going to buy into it? Am I going to believe it? No. Not at all. And I haven't. And I don't. So give it a go. Five minutes. Do some mindfulness. Check it out anywhere. Mindfulness is just focused attention. Meditation is just sitting there. Thought, let it go. Thought, let it go. Try it out for yourself. See how you go. Let me know in the comments. All for now. Bye.